Bienvenidos, saludos, gloria a Dios. Peace to all, this is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. And this one, we're going to be focusing on the oldest church in the Americas. And on record, the oldest church in Hispaniola, thus the Americas, is the Cathedral of Santa Maria la Manoy in the colonial city of Santo Domingo, which is dedicated to Saint Mary of Incarnation. And let me read on here, it says, it is the first and oldest cathedral in the Americas. The first and oldest cathedral in the Americas it began in 1514 and was completed in 1541. It is the cathedral of the Archbishop of Santo Domingo, who has the honorary title of Primate of the Indies. Because of this cathedral, the first Catholic diocese and the oldest cathedral established in the New World. The cathedral is fronted with a golden tinted corral limestone facade. The building is mainly Gothic, a notable example of real Gothic architecture outside of Europe. A notable example of real Gothic architecture outside of Europe. That's very important. It says here, the cathedral was commissioned by Pope Julius II in 1504, and its construction began in 1512. The construction was carried out by Luis Moya, according to plans designed by Alonso Rodriguez of Seville, Spain. Pay attention to the surnames. By 1523, the construction achieved continuous progress until its consecration in 1541. On February 12, 1546, the request by Emperor Charles V and Pope Paul III granted the status of the Metropolitan Cathedral and Primate of the Indies. It says here, Francis Drake, when he captured the city in 1586, used the cathedral as his headquarters and saved it from destruction. Hmm, that's interesting. So when Francis Drake, the known pirate for the English, the new English colonies that were to come later, captured the city in 1586. And we have records, it's called the Battle for Santo Domingo. We have records that uh, Drake and his pirates took back 200 captives from Santo Domingo. That Mojadin or Mojadin Moorish style architecture that dates back to old Spain. So of course the the architects and the builders were influenced by this Moorish architecture or were probably of Moorish ancestry themselves. So let's keep that in mind. I want to point out one thing here in terms of old churches in the Spanish world. Let's see what's credited as being one of the oldest church or the oldest church in Spain, in Europe. The Church of St. Nicholas Church in Madrid comes up. So let's do a cross comparison between these two churches, the oldest church of Hispaniola versus the oldest church in Spain and Europe, or the Church of St. Nicholas Church of Madrid. Let's get some information on this particular church. It says here, the Church of San Nicholas, pay attention to the name, San Nicholas, also known as the Church of San Nicholas de Bari. Hmm, we're gonna touch on that later or the Church of San Nicolas de los Cervantes is a Catholic parish church in central Madrid. The church dates back to medieval times, although it has been very altered over the centuries. So this church has been altered a few times. The building was declared Bien de Interés Cultural in 1978. So that's very late in the game. Its tower was already protected having been declared a national monument in 1931. So we got to pause here and understand what information we are receiving here. Supposedly the oldest church of Spain in Europe. I mean, you know, when we look at the history books in terms of the glories of Spain and then Moorish Spain, you would think that one of the oldest Catholic churches would be more better preserved and more acknowledged in a more earlier date than 1978 and 1931. I mean, these are acknowledgements in the 1900s. I mean, you know, you figure someone somewhere would have made an earlier acknowledgement of this being the oldest church in Spain. But let's move on. It says it's currently one of the oldest churches in Madrid. 
The bell tower was built in the 12th century, also the rest of the church, but the rest of the building was rebuilt in the 15th and 17th centuries. After the demolition of the church of Santa Maria de la Amondina, archaeological remains suggest that the church and its bell tower may have been part of a formal mosque. It was likely constructed in the 12th century. Now, notice it says there, it was likely constructed in the 12th century. So they're not sure if it was built in the 12th century. And notice that this sentence does not have a scholarly source to back it up. No references or sources. Um, it says the nave and the chapels were renovated in the 17th century. So they're crediting this church for being the oldest church, but that's based off a, a piece of the church in Bell Tower that they think may date back to the 12th century. Nothing solid to confirm that. It looks like uh, they're basing it off pieces of the church that were moved around into other locations that wasn't really fully recognized until like the late 1800s going into the 1900s. Um, so that's in sharp contrast to what we know to be true in terms of the oldest church in Hispaniola being the church, uh, the cathedral of Santa Maria la Manoa. So if you put these two churches side by side, um, there's no uh, debate in terms of one, which church looks more authentically older and keeping in mind that this church in Hispaniola stayed in the same location, was not moved around keeping the same architecture, which was the intention of the original builders. And going back in terms of the building of the architecture, there's no clear indication of when it was built. We know people who were involved, but it looks like it might have been a structure that was already made and possibly taken over by another religious sect which was what was going on in Hispaniola at the time, right? We have to please keep in mind of the different factions and European nations that were coming in and out of Hispaniola. This church here, Santa Maria, La Manol, seems to be older. But one last point here, in terms of the oldest church in Spain. Notice that the oldest, or the so-called oldest church in Spain and Europe is called the Church of St. Nicholas of Bari. Hmm, that sounds very familiar because the first time we hear that in the records in the Americas is the Hospital of St. Nicholas of Bari, which was also a church and a hospital, the first hospital in the Americas. So whereas the oldest church in Spain it's called St. Nicholas, and it has a very sketchy and questionable history in terms of its claims. We know for a fact that there was a hospital built very early in Hispaniola by the very same name, St. Nicholas de Bari. And we touched on this history a little bit in terms of this location and this hospital. It being the same location, uh, the presence of someone they called La Negra de Hospital, who already had a hospital treating and healing the sick and the poor and sheltering the poor in that same very location, named Hospital of St. Nicholas de Bari. So it's very interesting that these structures that we know to be old and holy, because what we know when that those records they describe La Negra de Hospital as being someone who's very holy and pious. So these are titles that we give priests. So when we put these histories and images side by side in terms of things that were old and of antiquity, we have to take strong consideration in terms of reevaluating what we've been taught of what came first and what is older. So we have to keep this in mind because Columbus took back many native inhabitants of Hispaniola back into Europe. And they are influencing uh, the people over there. Is it quite possibly you're taking back some of these architects and builders of some of these structures here in the island? 
back over there. Remember we covered earlier in the video adoration of a magi in terms of the paintings of these Moorish looking magis in this paintings. We made clear that the one of the first earlier ones, the ones that predated by at least a hundred years, is another adoration of a magi that features an American Indian. So who's influencing who here? Just want to give some acknowledgement of those early builders, Luis Moya and Alonzo Rodriguez. Um, and we know about the surname Rodriguez that goes back into Portuguese and Sephardic Jews. And this surname Moya, the word Moya, it's a very universal term. It takes you all over the world. It's a Spanish surname as well, but it's also a word in Africa and Europe, Ireland. It's also, there's a word for Moya, but you do the etymology of Moya, it brings you back to South America. So we have this person here with a possible indigenous surname and someone named Alonzo Rodriguez as credited for building the first church in the Americas in the island of Hispaniola. And with that, folks, I'm going to close it out. This is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. Good night. Peace.